Hey guys! Welcome back to the recap of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Part 3 of Phase 2. Those who are new to this series, let me tell you that we are taking the recap of the Marvel Cinematic Universe in this recap series. So, the movie starts two years after the Battle of New York, and now Steve Rogers works in Washington under the S.H.I.E.L.D. agency under Nick Fury. He was also getting adjusted to the current society. Now, Steve Rogers and Agent Romanoff are sent to a ship to free hostages with other S.H.I.E.L.D. members. This team was led by Agent Romanoff from Mercenaries and Steve Rogers fought them. In the middle of the mission, Rogers Rogers discovers Romanoff has another work that was to extract data from the ship's computers and send it to Fury. Rogers returns to the S.H.I.E.L.D.'s headquarters to confront Fron Yuri and is briefed about Project Insight 3 Hell Carriers linked to spy satellites, which were designed to eliminate threats. S.H.I.E.L.D. was unable to decrypt the data recovered by Romanoff and Fury becomes suspicious about Insight, so he asks a senior S.H.I.E.L.D. official named Alexander Pierce to delay the project on his way to a scheduled meeting with Maria Hill. Fury then gets attacked by a mysterious assassin called the Winter Soldier. However, Fury escapes to Rogers' apartment and warns Rogers that S.H.I.E.L.D. is compromised and gives Rogers a flash drive containing data from the ship. After that, Fury was gunned down by the Winter Soldier, and he dies in the surgery and Maria Hill recovers the body. The next day, Pierce calls Rogers to the headquarters of the S.H.I.E.L.D. When Rogers was having the Furies given information in the flash drive, seeing this, Pierce brands him as a fugitive. While leaving, he was hunted by Strike after which Rogers meets with Romanoff and they were using the data in the flash drive to discover a secret S.H.I.E.L.D. bunker in New Jersey, where they activate a supercomputer containing the preserved consciousness of Arna Mazzola, and he reveals that, ever since S.H.I.E.L.D. was founded after World War II, HYDRA has secretly operated within its ranks. They have the objective of making humanity willing to surrender its freedom in exchange for security. Rogers and Romanoff escape death when a S.H.I.E.L.D. missile destroys the whole bunker after which they realize that Pierce is the HYDRA leader sitting within the S.H.I.E.L.D. Rogers and Romanoff take the help of a pararescue man named Sam Wilson, who is the friend of Steve Rogers, and has his powers from a wing pack and he is named Falcon. Arrives at that S.H.I.E.L.D. agent named Jasper Sitwell, who is a HYDRA mole, they forced him to tell them that Zola developed a data mining algorithm that can identify individuals who might become future threats to HYDRA's plans, and tells them that the InSight helicarriers will sweep the globe using satellite-guided guns they were going to eliminate these individuals, but Rogers, Romanoff, and Wilson were attacked by the Winter Soldier, who then kills Sitwell. But when Rogers and Winter Soldiers were fighting, Rogers recognizes the Winter Soldier as Bucky Barnes' his friend who was captured. Maria Hill manages to get the trio to a safe house, where Fury, who had faked his death, is waiting with plans to take over the helicarriers by replacing their controller chips. When the World Security Council members arrive for the helicarriers launch Rogers broadcasts, Hydra's plot to everyone at the headquarters of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Romanoff, disguised as one of the council members, and disarms Pierce, after which Fury arrives and forces Pierce to unlock S.H.I.E.L.D.'s database so that Romanoff can leak classified information, exposing Hydra to the public. After that, Fury kills Pierce. Meanwhile, Rogers and Wilson got into helicarriers and replaced the controller chips, but the Winter Soldier destroys Wilson's suite and fights Rogers on the carrier. Rogers somehow replaced the final chip allowing Maria Hill to take control of the carrier and have the vessels destroy each other. Rogers refuses to fight the Winter Soldier in an attempt to make him remember that they are friends. But as the ship collides with the headquarters, Rogers is thrown out into the Podomac River, and then the Winter Soldier rescues the unconscious Rogers before disappearing into the woods. Romanoff appears before a Senate subcommittee in fury under the cover of his apparent death heads to Eastern Europe in order to destroy Hydra's remaining cells after this Rogers and Wilson decide to find the Winter Soldier. While Rumlow, who is a double agent for Hydra, is hospitalized following the headquarters destruction. In the mid credit scene, we see Baron Wolfgang von Strucker at a Hydra lab announcing that the Age of Miracles has begun as scientists examine an energy-filled scepter and two prisoners. One has superhuman speed and the other has telekinetic powers. In the post credit scene, we see that the Winter Soldier visits a Bucky memorial at the Smithsonian Institute. Want to be updated with the cinema industry? Then you can also subscribe. Thanks for watching.